the virus development, the entire state is watching tonight. Bars in North Texas shut down after a spike in COVID-related hospitalizations. That move in 19 counties in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Right now at 6, a look where hospitalizations are climbing in our part of the state. Those new restrictions are in place in North Texas after seven straight days of COVID-19 hospitalizations, topping 15%. We're not seeing the seven consecutive days threshold right here, but there are spots where that percentage has been reached at least at times. Channel 2's Rochelle Turner live in Pearland tonight with a look at where things stand in our area. Rochelle? Those spots include Galveston, Brazoria, Chambers, and other counties. Right now, the current hospitalization rate in Galveston is 7.2. In Brazoria County, it's 9.7. With the new year fast approaching, COVID-19 is still alive and well. The number of positive cases and hospitalizations are on the rise. I spoke to health experts in Galveston and Brazoria County. In September, we were down to where we had about 15 cases a day. Now we're averaging 90 cases a day. Uh, we had over 100 cases uh, reported uh, to us today. Last night, we showed you this graphic. 19 counties in the Dallas-Fort Worth area under new restrictions put in place by the governor after seven straight days where the number of people in the hospital with the virus topped 15 percent. Bars now close and non-essential businesses have to scale down to 50 percent capacity. Take a look at this graphic. The yellow line includes Galveston, Brazoria, Chambers and other counties. There have been few days where the region has reached the 15 percent rate, which is the red line but it has not done so for seven days. Galveston County Judge Mark Henry requested an exemption from the governor if the hospital region reaches the 15% threshold. In a statement, he says, based on the unique structure of our hospital region and the counties not adjoining us that are struggling at the moment with hospitalizations, we feel it will be detrimental to local businesses as well as medical care providers to have to start closing or limiting access to services. Services. Dr. Anthony Rogers in Brazoria County says they're trying to do their part to stop the spread of the virus. I know uh, the county judge uh, doesn't want to have to, uh, you know, uh, take a take a step back to, uh, you know, closing the bars and uh, decreasing the capacity rates of our, our restaurants. But uh, I'm sure that if conditions warrant it, that'll be something he'll have to have to think about. Both doctors tell me they're ready for the FDA to approve the vaccine so they can start the treatment process. We're live in Pearland tonight. I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Rochelle.